Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Five of you. Let's try it. Let's try it again. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Six that time. Much better. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ricochet, and once again, welcome to my portion of tonight's live entertainment here in the main bar this evening. Uh, now, actually, before we get started, there is something I would like to share with you this evening. In fact, uh, Dan, I don't even think I've told you about this. It's, I'm so excited about it. Um, guys, I've, I've been in the magic business for, for all my life. I'm 35 years of age, but I just found out today, I'm so proud of this, just found out today that I've just secured my first deal with Sky TV. What about that, Ed? Come on! <laughs> Right, fantastic. And it's an amazing deal because for $24.95 a month, I get Sky One, Sky HD, and the movie channels. It's an incredible package, really. <laughs> Alright, now, guys, tonight it's all about you having a lot of fun, myself included, and audience participation as well. And to that end, we're going to do a very special trip to get you guys all warmed up with a brown paper bag. Now, guys, inside the brown paper bag, we do have an empty bottle of. Pepsi. Okay. Now, very simple. We're going to take the empty bottle of Pepsi and place that inside the brown paper bag. Now, all we have to do is wave my hand over the bag once, twice, three times, slap my fingers, and it transforms into a full bottle of ketchup. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's great. All right, guys. Now, look. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, surely, such a handsome and sexy man as yourself. Stop it. Surely, if you can transform an empty bottle of Pepsi into a full bottle of ketchup, there's no way you can transform it back again, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> All I have to do is wave my hand over the bag once, twice, three times, snap my fingers, and it transforms back into the empty bottle of Pepsi once again. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> both of you. All right, now, now look, I, I know what you're thinking. You, you, you think there's a, uh, another bottle inside the bag, don't you? Yes. Have you been before? No? <laughs> well, you don't get this kind of quality from David Coppertone. I mean, Field. You don't. All right, well, look, to prove you wrong, watch very, very carefully. Here we go. And yes, the bag is completely empty. Thank you. So that's better now, isn't it? What do you mean, no? Did you come in for spies or something? All right, now, all right, now look, you think I'm holding the bottle through the bottom of the bag, don't you? Yes. <laughs> All right, all right, look, to prove you wrong, watch for a carefully, here we go. And yes, the bag has been proven to be now completely empty. I'm sorry? I'm whole, shut up! Who gave you a speaking part, seriously? All right, now guys, look. To be honest with you, the rules of the magic circle clearly state that you should never perform the same trick for the same audience in quick succession for fear that they might catch you out. But looking at you guys tonight, we're going to do it again. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take the empty bottle of Pepsi and place this back inside the bag. Well, that sucks. Um, sometimes magic sounds like clink. <laughs> yes, anyway, here we go. Oh, stupid bag! Seriously. Alright. Here we go. We just wave our hand over the bag. Once, twice, three times. Snap the fingers. Shut up. And it transforms back into the ketchup bottle once again. Here we go. We place it back inside the bag. Wave my hand over the bag. Once, twice, three times. Snap the fingers. And it transforms back into the empty bottle of Pepsi. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? You're not buying this, are you? No. You know what? This takes a lot out of an artiste. Because <laughs> it doesn't bother me too much, to be honest with you. Uh, Alright, look, 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 look guys, it's, it's okay. If you don't like this particular trick, that's absolutely fine. It's not a problem. All you've got to do is let me know, and I'm quite happy to try something else. Alright? That's not a problem, guys. Seriously. Oh, come on! That was pretty good! Thank you! Oh, dear. And you guys over here, you've got to catch up. <laughs> catch up! Anybody. I'm wasted on it. I'll tell you. Alright. Now, actually, uh, before coming up to the show this evening, um, a, a gentleman stopped me down on uh, deck number six, and he said, excuse me, can you tell me where the piano bar is? Is that at the pointy end of the boat? Yeah. Or the blunt end of the boat? Now, to be honest with you, I've been on ships now for quite a few years, and I'm uh, uh, quite au fait with the more technical terms. And I said, well, actually, sir, it's not the pointy end of the boat, that's actually the bow or forwards. And it's not the blunt end of the boat, that's actually uh, aft or the stern. 
and we certainly don't call it a boat, it's actually a ship. So in answer to your question, the piano bar is located on deck number seven at the aft of the ship. And he said, thank you very much. And I said, you're welcome, Captain. And off he went. He's quite happy with that. All right, well, guys, we're going to continue things now with a quick card trick. Now, also, the rules of the Magic Circle clearly state that every magician must do at least one card trick during the course of his act. Otherwise, magic will become popular again and everybody will be doing it. So we're going to use a deck of cards, but this elastic band, we're not going to use that just yet. All right, then, now uh, I'm going to come uh, over here. Hello, sir, good evening. You can say sit down, sir, that's fine, I've seen the way you're dressed. Um, welcome to the show. And uh, what is your name, sir? Stuart. Stuart. Stuart? Yeah, well done, Stuart, well done. All right, now, Stuart, you're going to be the eyes and ears of this entire audience, okay? And what beautiful eyes and beautiful ears they are, too, Stuart. Saying they're not quite in the right place, but never mind, that's okay. Now, Stuart, I'm going to hand you this pack of cards in a moment, all right? I want you to have a look for it, make sure it's a regular deck of cards, and then you're going to give the cards a quick shuffle. All right, now I'm going to come to you. You don't need to come to me. Again, I've seen the way you're dressed. So that's for you, Stuart. Just grab those cards for me. Just check them out, make sure they are indeed a, just a regular pack of cards, and then give the cards a quick shuffle for me as well, Stuart. But whatever you do, do not disturb the order of the... <laughs> all right, never mind, Stuart, never mind. We'll try something else. That's fine. It's a different trick. It's okay, that's fine. And actually, now can you put them back in the same order that they started? So whenever you're ready. You might understand, that's brilliant. I'll take those back. Uh, Stuart, stand up, take a bow. Give him a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up to Stuart. Oh, where did the elastic band go? It went on before. All right, then, guys. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take these two elastic bands and we're going to band this deck up. One band's going to go widthways and one band is going to go lengthwise. All right, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to thrust... I've checked that. I can use that word. I'm going to thrust the deck out into the audience, OK? Whoever catches the cards, what I'd like you to do is just to peel the deck apart a little bit and look at and remember one card. Make sure you look at it clearly and remember that card, OK? Then whoever catches the cards, you're going to throw the cards to somebody else. Make sure they know they're coming. All right. The second person who catches the cards, again, you're going to peel the deck apart, look at one card clearly and remember it. And then we're going to throw the cards to somebody else. And we're going to keep throwing cards, looking at cards and remembering cards until each and every one of these 52 cards have been looked at and remembered. And then I'm going to attempt to name every single one of them. <laughs> This isn't much of a trip, but it is a time fill. <laughs> All right, now when you get the cards, uh, look at the corner with the number on right here, okay? If you look at this side, you're not going to see anything. So look at the side with the number on right here. Just peel it apart and remember the card. And again, keep the elastic bands on the deck because it's much easier to throw them around the room with the elastic bands on. All right, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to throw the cards to that lady right there. So, Matt, catch those cards for me. Fantastic. Peel the deck apart, look at one card clearly and remember it. You have it. Throw the cards to somebody else. Go for distance. Wow, incredible distance there. All right, so again, peel the deck apart, look at one card and remember it. Good, you got the card, throw the deck to one more person, please. Brilliant. I tell you, throw that, okay, that's good. Well, look at them, I don't want it, you can have it. All right, one throw, guys, one throw. Right, this is your man here, look at one card, peel the deck apart, remember it. Do you have it in your mind, yeah? Okay, now throw the cards back to me. Brilliant. Nice lot, pal. All right, it's okay, my fault. I should have had a stage closer to you. I do apologize. All right, that's good. We don't need those cards anymore. All right, guys, they each have three cards. You've got one card in each of your minds. Keep concentrating on those cards. In fact, the three people who have those cards in their minds, stand up for me. Stand up, guys. Stand up, stand up, stand up. That's good, that's good. All right, guys. Concentrate and think of those cards. Uh, let me just uh, come over here. Your name, sir? And... Did I ask you? <laughs> Just kidding, got a little bit too eager there, Connor, but that's okay. All right, so here we go. In fact, the lady just there, quick question. Uh, uh, how old are you? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's very rude. You should never ask a lady your age. So how much do you weigh? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right. We're just concentrating and remember those cards, all right. All right, now in a moment, here we go, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Very good. Very good. Nothing at all. That's okay, that's fine. All right, okay, concentrate on those cards. Now, guys, I'm going to name three cards right now. They may be your cards, they may not be your cards. But do not react in any way when I say the names of these three cards, okay? But just, again, they may be your cards, they may not be your cards. Here we go. Six of clubs, eight of diamonds, ten of spades. They're the three cards I will name. Six of clubs, eight of diamonds, ten of spades. All right, here we go. We're going to start with Connor here. Connor, if I named your cards, sit down. Now, 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, did I tell you to sit down? Stand up, stand up, stand up. It's just caught at first. All right, here we go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we can do this trick in one of two ways. With applause. And the way that we're doing it now. <laughs> Don't stop it. It's too late. It's like pity. Right. We're going to go for the second gentleman. Seeing as he's eager. Right, here we go. So, if I can get two out of three, I know you will applause. Because you feel guilty about not applauding the first time. So here we go. Gentlemen there, if I need your card, sit down. Now. Come on, that's two out of three, that's pretty good. All right, my lovely lady right here. If I can get three out of three, I know you will applaud. In fact, I know you will go wild. But to be honest with you, if I don't manage to get her card, uh, I'm not going to get that wild applause. And I really need to hear it, I really do. So uh, just to make up for it, in case I get it wrong, all together, go wild now! It's hardly worth it, was it really? Let's face it. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I think this side of the room is actually going to be wilder than this side. So uh, we're going to test that out right now. I'm going to split the room kind of right down the centre here, okay? Now you guys are going to be side A, and you guys are going to be side B. And I think side B are going to be wilder than side A. But let's see if that proves to be correct. Here we go. So, side A, go wild now! Long night, Dan. It's gonna be long night. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But you know what? I think side B will be wilder. All right, here we go. Side B, go wild now. I was wrong. I'll be honest with you. I was wrong. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But you know what? If I can get all three, all go wild together. All right, so don't let me down. Here we go. If I named your cards, sit down now. Yes, three out of three. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I only use my powers for good, it's true. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to carry on with the show. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my sixth trick tonight is impossible. So now for my seventh trick. And this particular trick, I had the very great pleasure of performing for the Queen of the Belgians. It's true. Well, he said he was the Queen of the Belgians. Well, no, what he said was, if you're a magician, then I'm the Queen of the Belgians. But anyway, now for this particular trick, I need the assistance of a kind lady. Any kind, really. <laughs> but I do need to choose a lady totally at random. And there is a very special way in which we do this. So, I'm going to throw this stool out into the audience. Now, whoever it knocks unconscious, if we could drag her lifeless corpse up... Uh, no, maybe not, alright. Uh, maybe I'll just come and get her myself. So, uh, let's give Alex the camera ladies some work to do. <laughs> I'm going to come over here. Here, shall we? But, you know, it could be anyone in this room. It really could. But you know what? It just so happens to be you. Come on, let's give her a nice round of applause. There she goes, Frank, screaming from the audience. Say, no, I don't want to come up. That's great. That's brilliant. Just have a seat there for me. That's good. And pretend you're enjoying yourself. That's great. And don't worry, it's perfectly safe. I haven't plugged it in yet. That's fine. All right, and we're also going to use this microphone here because we need to hear your voice. All right, so you hold that. And when you speak into the mic, make sure it's really close to your lips. Perfect. And uh, what is your name? Becky. Becky. Lovely to meet you. Thanks for coming up, Becky. Uh, now, quick question. Can I call you Becky? Yes. What time can I call you? Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> Okay, well, let's find us some, the most unusual time I've ever been given, but that's good. Becky, thanks for coming up to help. Now, quick question, Becky, have we met before? No. No? Then how do you know it's me? I have no idea. Yeah, exactly, it could be somebody else, right? Yeah. But seriously, we haven't met before? No. no. And don't look so pleased about it either. All right, now, Becky, before we go any further, again, I do need to give you a quick observation test to make sure that you're in the right frame of mind for this particular effect. So, to that end, in my little briefcase here, I do have a... One uh, big red squishy ball. All right, uh, just give it a quick squeeze for me there, Becky. <coughs> that's good. Uh, just, uh, just one more, that'll be. <coughs> that's brilliant. All right, now, Becky, what we're going to do? I'm going to take the squishy ball and put it in one of my hands. Here we go. <laughs> Becky, which hand is the squishy ball in? Very good, very good. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Here we go. What? Oh, wait, where's the ball? It's very good. I'm going to get you this time. Hang, hang. What are the ball? Ooh. Right, where's the ball? No, I put it in the other hand, I'm sorry. Right, one last go, I'll get you this time. Here we go. Where's the ball? What are the ball? Ooh, ha, ha. Okay, where's the ball? Okay, I'm finished. Right, we're not finished now, where is it? No, it's still over in that hand, I'm sorry. It's actually better when you've got two balls anyway, it's a lot easier. 